part of an exciting emerging field called photonics. Photonics applications improve the procedures and equipment used in medicine, defense, aerospace, robotics, telecommunications, environment, solar energy, and lighting. Careers in these photonics-enabled technologies are challenging, interesting, and highly rewarding in terms of pay and advancement. Photonics provides career opportunities for people in a variety of fields. Photonics enables scientists to create new applications for lasers and optics. Engineers use photonics in designing new equipment and procedures. Technicians who have studied photonics are able to make things work and keep them working. Development of new photonics devices creates opportunities for business people whose job it is to make organizations aware of how to acquire these new devices. But talking about photonics careers is not nearly as interesting as hearing from a real person who works in this exciting field. As you watch the following interview with a photonics worker, learn about what they do and why they became interested in the field and the type of education they received to prepare for this career. Originally I was in the electronics engineering program and I was experimenting with a lot of circuitry and messing with a lot of computers and it was pretty fun until uh, Dr. Paniato showed me that there was a photonics program here and that turned out to be more interesting and they were both linked together because it, the photonics turned out to be just a subset of electronics engineering. So I did a lot of more optical, uh, a lot more photonics until I got my job at Infrared Associates where I continued to experiment with lasers and photonics and detectors. My job is very interesting. It involves a lot of chemicals, a lot of rare and exotic materials that you wouldn't see every day. It's more fun to mess with the lasers that are there and see and to play with the uh, spectrometers. I also build mercury cadmium telluride detectors, the material that they're made from, and grow the material from a process called epitaxial growth. Most technologies today use photonics. Your television set, your uh, your computer uses photonics, your cell phone uses photonics. Uh, almost any device nowadays that you pick up that's electronic has some sort of photonic uh, component in it. Uh, the internet uses photonics extensively. There's fiber optic lines that carry massive amounts of data back and forth. Uh, the military seems to be using more and more photonics for communications. Uh, Photonics is used in crime labs to, for spectroscopy. Uh, it's used in automotive capacities. It's used in fu the future of lighting. It's used in, uh, photonics is used in many applications. Uh, without photonics, we'd be years behind where we are nowadays. If you're looking for a good job to get into, a good career to start, photonics is the way to go. If you're looking for a career in photonics or lasers or optics, definitely would want to take courses in math and science, heavily in math and heavily in science. You definitely want to take trigonometry and algebra. In science, you definitely want to go for physics and chemistry and uh, optics in my case, uh, molecular sciences because of the way I grow the detectors. And take all the math and take all the sciences that you can because it will definitely help you with your career. Because you're going for photonics doesn't mean that you're going to be limited to photonics. At my job, I grow detectors and I build the detectors and I assemble them into full units. That involves uh, chemistry, that involves physics, that involves mechanical engineering, you definitely don't want to be just confined straight to, phys to photonics. You do want to branch out a bit, but if you are going to go into photonics, you do want to make that your main uh, education. You do want to learn all you can about photonics. You've just seen a great example of the thousands of people who are enjoying careers.
careers in photonics. The opportunities are almost limitless, and the rewards include good pay and interesting work. But you will need to prepare for this opportunity by continuing your education past high school at a college or university that has a photonics program. It's hard work, but you can do it, and you'll be glad that you did. Funding for this video was provided by Optech, the National Center for Optics and Photonics Education, through a grant from the National Science Foundation's Advanced Technological Education Program. For more information on Optech and photonics careers, please visit our website at www.op-tec.org.